living the boy's dream. What do we got going on here? Some stretching? <coughs> yeah, just trying to <coughs> get back back to life after been sick for a week doing nothing so feeling a little better now so it's kind of just gonna kick start it get back into feeling normal and back is kind of sore from just laying and chilling so gonna get back into like a little morning routine maybe from now on i'm gonna try to do it every morning just gonna like get that. better at waking up good goal early after eight hours of sleep laying still makes sense to move your body and all movements so your muscles and blood flow wake up instead yeah. of just getting into a fucking Double core without that's your first movement. I feel like 70 years old now, but one cup of coffee after this, and we're fucking 13 again, dude. But hopefully, now the next few days feel a lot better and we can go do fun activities. Yeah, we like to do fun activities, we don't like to sit on our butts. Oh. Fuck, nothing. Even though we're not fully feeling 100%, I think we're gonna go do some activities today. Yeah? Or at least go out of the house, Cole, because you've been in Oslo for a week. I've been cooped up. Not really doing anything, because I've just been doing nothing. You can do shit, but you don't really know this place. So yeah, we're going on a little mission. Here we go. Towards where I grew up, a couple friends, they have a big art studio. We're gonna go check it out. Maybe do some graffiti or some art or something. They have a little meeting ramp. Skate. Maybe get myself a little birthday present. Have a good old time, you know? What is this place? This place is uh, every boy's dream. It's these boys, they're called so, Dude. Dude. These boys Dude. make art. As you can see, there's a bunch of big pieces that are from festival so they're making all these huge blocks for a festival hey what's with the kebab sign though from our local kebab shop it closed two days ago and we kind of grew up there how many there? kebabs are you eating there like, like three thousand yeah, three thousand <laughs> kebabs yeah so we're all from the same place and then these boys got into art i got into snowboarding they also have olaf studio here on the other side photo music studios there's yeah. a picture of the kebab shop yeah you can see the sign up there <laughs> so we're gonna cruise around here, see what the boys are up to, skate a little bit, jump to trampoline, living the boys, boys dream. Barbecue weather, right? Barbecue weather. Yeah. <laughs> like we barbecued at least once a day, <laughs> even if it's raining. Not as easy as it looks. No, no, we're uh, practicing right now. Circle, straight lines. Straight down, cross, and they're all supposed to. Look at that. Dude, what a session. <laughs> yeah, dude. 
This is uh, for sure gonna be the new hang hangout spot for the summer. Especially when it's rainy and you go in there, skate, come out and it's bluebird. Yeah, what are we doing today? You know, after being at the boys studio, got a little inspired for designs and I actually, it's the time of year when I have to design my new pro model snowboard for Rome. So we're kind of just making some ideas, kind of mix and match and try to figure out what to put on my new board. It's weird to say when you don't have a pro model, you always have an idea of how you want it. But then when you get it, and I've had it for a few years now, and you can choose from whatever you want every year. And that makes it so hard. So if you guys have any ideas, feel free to send them to me. Comment below, colors the signs, whatever, you know, everything helps. So yeah, please send in your ideas and we'll make the coolest snowboard ever, hopefully. Oh, 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 oh,